Let's get into quarterback play or quarterbacking, all right? So I, I do not, there are great coaches in here. I just mentioned Charlie Taff. I learned a lot from Charlie. He was the offensive coordinator at Maryland. When I, when I was there, I was the running back coach. I've been around some really great quarterback coaches. And so I do not have the market cornered on, on you know, this is the exact way you have to do it. These are just some things that I believe in. So before we get to the fundamentals, all right, I think when you're out there and you're thinking about who your quarterback of your team is, they have to have a few things. Number one, and don't laugh, they've got to be able to throw the ball accurately. If you tell them to put it somewhere, they've got to be able to put it that way, there, and they've got to be able to work at it to improve their accuracy. Okay, they don't have, in my opinion, they don't have to be the greatest athletes in the world. If they are, that's fantastic. You know, there's a really uh, great example of, of guys that are great athletes but are really quarterbacks in the National Football League right now. Kaepernick, Russell Wilson, RG3. Those three guys can throw the football. Remember that first. They're accurate passers. So they have to be able to throw. They've got to be able to make good decisions. They have to be able to be good decision makers. And you can judge a lot of that off the field. You can watch how these guys do things and how they carry themselves off the field. And that'll help you when, you, when, you, when you're watching them on the field if they're making good, quick decisions or they're making crappy decisions. You know, those are things you have to observe, but they have to be able to make good decisions. This next one, to me, is really, really important. With all the multiplicity of the defenses these days, defenses at every level, you know, e at every level you're seeing even, odd, we call it diamond, bear, bear defense. You're seeing bear, you're seeing overload blitz, you're seeing up the middle blitz, you're, you're seeing man free, blitz zero, you're seeing blitz zone from the field, from the boundary. With all that, in my opinion, your quarterback has to be intelligent. He has to have a great football IQ. And if he doesn't, if he can't learn it, then he should play another position, I'm telling you. Because nowadays, that guy, once he's out on the field, he's got to be like a coach on the field. He has to understand what you want, how you want to attack the defense, and he's got to understand football. In order to do it, he's got to put work in. So at Penn State, we had kind of the perfect storm this past year. We had a kid, Matt McGloin, who was from Scranton, Pennsylvania. If you know anything about Scranton, Pennsylvania, like, these guys just walk down the street with the proverbial chip on their shoulder. That's the way they operate. These guys are tough guys in Scranton that are on our team. This kid was an Irish kid from Scranton. He's about six foot tall. He doesn't look like much, but he's a tough, competitive dude. And so, and on top of that, he was a fifth year senior. He had already played a lot of football for Penn State, so he had experience. So what happened was we got into this situation and we could tell right away that this guy was gonna be able to be our quarterback, because in our quarterback meetings, guys, think about this. I was talking to a, a guy named Billy Lazor the other day. He's the new quarterback coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, really bright guy. And we're, always, we're talking about how to coach quarterbacks differently. So we're doing a deal at Penn State over the last couple of years, last year and this year, where we want to make sure that we know as coaches what they know. After we teach them, you know, we teach them, we teach them the system, we teach them how to watch film. All right, then it's all about what they know. It's all about talking football. And we make them in our meetings, not just in walkthroughs and obviously in practice, but in our meetings, we want them to stand up. We want them to play quarterback in the meeting room. We want to hear what they know. We want to put the picture on film and say, how, where are you going to run the ball here? Where are you going to throw the ball here? Go through your operation, your cadence. Who are you pointing Mike? We've got to train these guys to help them with their football IQ.